THC gummies are a game changer. If you are struggling with pain, sleep, anxiety, relaxation, just basically anything under the sun, THC gummies could potentially help you. So let me explain to you what is a THC gummy and how do you pick the right one? There are so many different types of THC gummies out there right now. There is THC gummies depending on flavor, depending on strength, depending on brand, but what are they? Okay, so THC gummies basically is a gummy bear infused with THC. Now what is THC? That is your weed, that is your marijuana, that is what gets you that psycho, psycho high, that psycho, psychoactive, psycho, I was like analytical, that doesn't make sense, psychoactive high. Um, but you can control that high. So I personally don't always enjoy getting that high because I'm, I'm a creative. I'm trying to like focus on something. I'm trying to like just get in the groove, get creative, just get into a better mood. Um, so you can vary your dosage of THC depending on the gummies that you purchase. Now, what is the difference between all the THC gummies that are on the market, right? There's so many. So today I want to talk to you about the two most popular types of THC gummies. There's Delta 8 and there's Delta 9. So let's start with Delta 9. Delta 9 is what you're probably most familiar with. Delta 9 is basically weed, basically marijuana gummies. Um, these are federally legal. That says it, as long as it has less than 0.03% of THC. Delta 9 will give you that psychoactive high. Um, and the benefits of Delta 9 are pain relief, it's calmness, it's mood elevation, it's sleep, pain relief, especially if you have neuropathic pain. Um, now, Delta 8 is similar to Delta 9, but scientifically or chemistry wise, it's mil missing a carbon bond. That carbon bond makes Delta 8 a little bit weaker than Delta 9. However, depending on how much Delta 8 you take, it could be the same effects as Delta 9. So it's not like, it's not like, oh my God, it's going to be so much weaker. I don't want, I don't, I, I don't want to start with Delta 9, 8, I want to get super high and be with Delta 9. It's just, it depends on personal preference. Now, Delta 8 has a different structure though. Delta 8 really helps calm your body. The properties of Delta 8 help with relaxation and calmness. So you're going to feel a body high in the sense of your body's just going to really relax, really open up. Um, it's really good for sleep. It's good for pain. It's good for anxiety. It kind of mellows you out. You will also feel the cycle active high, but it's not as strong as what you will feel with the Delta 9. Um, so those are the real big differences between Delta 8 gummies and Delta 9 gummies. Now Delta 8 gummies tend to be stronger in milligrams than Delta 9. So like, this is not exact science, but for me personally, a Delta 8 25 milligram gummy is pretty similar to a Delta 9 10 milligram gummy, okay? So there's like a 2.5 X difference between the Delta 9s and the Delta 8. Now, how does THC affect the body? So in the body, we have what's called the endocannabinoid system. Now this endocannabinoid system, also sometimes referred to as ECS, uh, monitors the various physiological responses in our body. So anything from our brain to our sleep, our spleen, to our liver, to our, our nervous system, right? And when you consume the THC, it binds to these receptors. And that's what's helping create this sort of balance in our lives and in our, in our bodies with sleep and pain and anxiety and stress and mood and calmness. Um, so that's the science behind how the THC is working in our bodies. It's binding to our ECS. It's kind of like when you have a car and an engine and you're taking care of the engine to make sure the car runs better that the, the, the oil that you're adding to the engine is basically the THC that you're adding to your body, if that makes sense. So our ECS, the endocannabinoid system, when the THC adapts to the receptors, that's how it depends on how fast the THC starts working, um, depending on the milligrams you took, depending on your metabolism, your genetics. Um, it's what's monitoring all that. So that's why I always say in all my videos that if you're going to take THC, start small because you don't know how your body is going to react to it. So now how do you choose the right THC gummy? I, like I said, there's so many gummies out there. There's different brands, there's different flavors, there's different strengths. Highly, highly suggest, encourage you to do your research. So for example, if you come to mypaincenter.com, we've done the research for you. We, we only have a small, limited selection of products that we sell um, because all these products have been tried, tested, and proven for potency and purity. So what do we do? We go and try all these different products out there. We find the ones that we really like. We have other people try them. We have customers try them, friends and family try them, and we see which one actually works, which one is actually providing benefit, which is helping with me, my sleep, what is helping with my pain, my anxiety, my mental health issues, what is helping me feel in a better mood, right? And then we make sure that they're all tested, lab tested, so we check all the gummies to make sure that the strengths 
the, what, whatever milligrams the gummy has, that's what's on the label. We're making sure there's no pesticides. We're making sure that it's a clean, pure gummy. Um, and then we have the lab results on the website for you to check that as well. So highly suggest you find a reputable seller who's selling these THC gummies. Again, you want to start with a small amount, a small milligram. So like for Delta nine, you can start with a 10 milligram gummy. Um, if you don't find that's working on the first day, you can increase it to 15, the next, then 20, then 25. And then once you figure out what your dosage is, then you can go and purchase a stronger gummy if you need to. So we also have like a 25 milligram Delta nine gummy. Wouldn't suggest you start with that unless you want to cut it up into pieces. Um, so basically you want to find a gummy bear. You want to find THC gummies that come from a reputable brand. Um, that have lab results. You really want the lab results and you know if the gummy bear has a lab results because on the back of the packaging um, There's a QR code and when you scan that QR code You should be able to find the product that matches the bag or the, the bottle that you have um, Definitely check because sometimes the QR codes are not the same. They're, they're not the right QR code They're not the right lab results attached to that QR code. Um, that's called the wild wild west of this industry that's why you hear a lot of stuff about the fda and people complaining that it is the wild wild west because some people are not doing this the right way and that's what's causing so much confusion out there and so many issues with people overdosing right so just be careful about the product you're buying the last thing i'll say is on the labeling make sure when you buy the product you understand how much cb or milligrams are in the jar versus in the gummy itself okay so sometimes it's confusing like our delta nine jars say three hundred milligrams but there's 30 gummies so then it's 10 milligrams a gummy not 300 milligrams a gummy so I've had people think that they took a 300 milligram gummy and they didn't feel anything so now they're gonna go look for a 500 milligram gummy now they found a 500 milligram gummy it doesn't exist but it does in some Delta 8 Delta 8 now has a 500 milligram gummy they will take the whole thing which is a lot like it's a lot and then It's not good. It's just not good. It's just not good. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. And if you have any questions, we have a chat box on our website. Text us, message us. You can send us images. You can say, this is the product I bought. What is it? Can you help me? Um, so just please do your research on THC gummies. Again, though, it is such a great, it is a game changer. If you need something, if you're looking to get off your opioids or you're looking to get off painkillers or you're looking for something because you are in a lot of pain or in a lot of stress or anxiety and you just need something to take the edge off, uplift your mood, get in the zone, um, highly encourage you looking at Delta 8 depending on what you want and Delta 9. Um, there's, other, there's other THC gummies out there that we'll get into in another video, but I'm going to wrap this up. If you have any experience using THC gummies, um, whether it's been beneficial or not beneficial to you, drop your stories down below. If you have any tips, any advice, any like, whoa, don't do that kind of stories, also drop those down below. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will see you on the next video.